Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. Today we're in Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus, chapter 3, really verses 4 through 6, but we'll actually pick up verse 2 to establish the context. Paul says this, Surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you. That is, the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. In reading this, then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and shares together in the promise in Jesus Christ. Now, this passage says a number of things, but the number one issue is that the time for believing doesn't really happen until the new covenant era, beginning with Pentecost. Jesus introduces it, but then when he, after he goes to the cross, rises, rises from the dead, ascends into heaven, then Pentecost, then this is the time for believing where the Holy Spirit is going to motivate believers to take the gospel out. Okay, so that's really, the mystery is that there's going to be a new people of God, which will replace the old people of God, which is Israel, which is just an unbelieving picture of the people of God. And the new people of God, a spiritual Israel, will be mostly Gentiles, just a remnant of Jews. And it should be pointed out that when he makes reference, when he says to the apostles and prophets, where he says, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. These are New Testament apostles and prophets, New Testament prophets, not Old Testament prophets. So if this has been helpful, check out more of Jeff's thoughts on youtube.com, and there you can subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.